chances are you know Tom Hiddleston from his performance as Loki in Marvel's series of Avengers movies. But did you know he was Emmy nominated for a totally different role? Keep watching to see the 10 Tom Hiddleston roles you never knew about. Oakley in Unrelated. It's I just think I just think men and women are always bound to be unfaithful. I, I really think that. You're probably right. One thing is certain, Hiddleston is an amazingly talented actor who has a rich resume with many major movies and television shows throughout his career so far. But he's also one of those actors that happens to play a role so good that they get remembered only by it. In Tom's case, it's the role of battling across the galaxies in the MCU. However, he also played the role of Oakley in the 2007 film Unrelated. The film has a very interesting plot that follows Anna, a woman who is not quite satisfied with her life. Traveling to a friend's holiday home in Tuscany, she tries to find joy in her life again. On this journey, she meets with Oakley, a character portrayed by the amazingly talented Tom Hiddleston. She starts to develop feelings for him, but starts to wonder if the feelings are real or she's just missing having someone in her life. If you haven't seen the film, we highly recommend it. If you have, share your opinion regarding Tom's performance in the comments down below. F. Scott Fitzgerald Genius in Midnight in Paris. Scott Fitzgerald and Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald, the Fitzgeralds. Isn't she beautiful? There are so many good things in Disney Plus's Loki, including the comeback of Tom Hiddleston and the reunion of time-traveling friends, Hiddleston and Owen Wilson. Did you guys know this isn't the first time Hiddleston and Wilson have worked together? The two actors first acted together in 2011's acclaimed film, Midnight in Paris. And if you have watched the film after getting to know Hiddleston's Loki, you've certainly felt confused seeing Tom acting in something that's so far from what we're used to seeing him in. Tom Hiddleston played Scott Fitzgerald Genius in Woody Allen's then-beloved 2011 romantic comedy, Midnight in Paris. The movie is about an American writer who was finding himself as he traveled with his girlfriend in Nets, Rachel McAdams, to Paris. Jonathan Pine in The Night Manager. I'm Tom Hiddleston and I play Jonathan Pine in The Night Manager. Tom Hiddleston played the main character in the BBC AMC British American television miniseries The Night Manager, Jonathan Pine. In this show, Tom plays an ex-soldier who worked in Iraq and now tries to find himself working as a hotel night manager. Continuously struggling because of his past, Pine faces a lot of problems when his act of disclosing documents committed to him by a hotel guest results in her death. A film with an incredible plot and even more incredible casting. Freddie Page in the Deep Blue Sea Hiddleston played the character of Freddie Page in the masterpiece that's been adapted and directed by Terrence Davies from the original play by him. The Deep Blue Sea is probably one of the best films Hiddleston has ever appeared in. The film features a journey combined with love and social mores of early 1950s Britain. The story follows Hester Collier, Rachel Weitz, a 40-year-old woman who got divorced after starting an emotional but eventually doomed affair with a young former Air Force pilot. The film presents Hester attempting suicide and then continues with a series of flashbacks presenting the past year and what led to her desperation. Hester's husband, High Court Judge Sir William Collier, is portrayed by Simon Russell Beale, and after she falls in love with Freddie Page, Tom Hiddleston, she can no longer stay with William. Have you guys seen The Deep Blue Sea? Let us know in the comments section. Captain James Nichols in War Horse one of the best things about Tom Hiddleston's performances is that he can never mess things up. This man perfectly adjusts his charm, charisma, and talent to every role he plays, regardless of the genre of the film. This is why Hiddleston has been involved in various film projects throughout his career, including his role as one of the leads in Steven Spielberg's War Horse. In the film, the actor portrays the character of Captain James Nichols with a story adapted from Michael Morburgo's acclaimed 1982 children's novel, War Horse. The film follows a young man named Albert, whose beloved horse, Joey, is sold to the army and sent off for work in World War I. This takes Albert on an interesting journey. He heads to France to save his beloved friend. This is seemingly one of the best films Hiddleston ever appeared in. Do you guys agree? Thomas Sharp in Crimson Peak. Not a complicated dance, really. The lady takes her place slightly to the left of the leading gentleman. 
six basic steps, and that's all. Hiddleston was cast in Guillermo del Toro's mysterious romance as inventor Thomas Sharp, the love interest of protagonist Edith Cushing, portrayed by Mia Wasikowska. Del Toro took inspiration from many different old British horror films, but according to an interview Hiddleston had with Screen Rant, he'd never seen any of them growing up. When asked about similarities between Loki and Sharp, he said, quote, When I got into acting, I never wanted to play one type of role. The actors I loved the most growing up were people who could move between genres, between character types. It just so happens that Thomas Sharp in this and Loki are a little bit darker, but I have played some lighter characters. Adam in Only Lovers Left Alive. Mm. No, I mean, it's not a theory, it's proven. Hiddleston played the role of Adam, the guitar-collecting musician in the film Only Lovers Left Alive. Most fans compare Adam to David Bowie, and according to Tom, this is quite interesting, as he also thought about Bowie. But then he thought about Sid Barrett, too, said Hiddleston of the late co-founder of Pink Floyd. Hiddleston also said that he was inspired by his character's, quote, sad, disillusioned spirit to reread Hamlet and found so many of these lines could have been said by Adam before quoting some of the Danish prince's talks. It is certainly refreshing to see the actor play something like this, something deeper than what we're used to seeing from him. While some claim the film lacks originality, and that's mostly because of the involvement of the Twilight series, Hiddleston said he never felt like he was making a vampire movie. Have you guys seen the film? Let us know down in the comments section below. Magnus Martinson in Wallander. When a film starts a new genre, it faces a rough track. Ask Quentin Tarantino. But Wallander didn't just start a whole new attraction with Nordic Noir. The film stays an unforgettable classic, and Tom Hiddleston got the chance to play in it, portraying the character of Magnus Martinson. Other series trying to reach the success Wallander reached, but in the end, it's the amazing, intelligent, and sometimes surprising Kurt Wallander that remains the one to stand out from the rest. Tom Hiddleston quit playing the character of Magnus Martinson in Wallander because apparently the show was filmed at the same time as Avengers. Did you guys enjoy Magnus's character? Let us know. Edward in Archipelago. Yet another truly amazing film appears on the list of Tom Hiddleston's roles you never knew about. Archipelago was released in the 2010s, and in it, Tom Hiddleston plays the character of Edward, a man who goes on a family holiday to the Isles of Sicily. Talking about his involvement in the film and his work with the famous director, Joanna Hong, regularly and while filming Archipelago, Hiddleston told Indy London, quote, I feel like I have a huge creative input in terms of the philosophical tone of the film in a way. We also inspire each other a lot. Lord Nuth in Early Man. Oggy, oggy, oggy! Idiots, losers, let them rot. This 2018 claymation comedy, Early Man, is created by the same people that made the popular Wallace and Gromit. Early Man features an ensemble of talented British cast, including Hiddleston, Maisie Williams, and Eddie Redmayne. Tom Hiddleston voices Lord Newt, and the actor actually worked on a French accent for the role. He told Screen Rant how it was actually kind of tricky to land on that, because he always thought French accents are kind of laid back and cool and sophisticated. So to find the pomposity inside the French was a cocktail of vocal work. What is your favorite Tom Hiddleston role? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching, guys.